Hey there, dear reader. Do you remember those cozy evenings gathered around the television set back in the days when life was a tad simpler? Ah, the nostalgia. Now, I've got a question for you. Did you ever watch the 1954 TV series The Magical World of Disney? Oh, the memories that must be hidden in the corners of your mind. Picture yourself, perhaps with family or friends, eagerly tuning in to catch the enchanting tales and wondrous adventures that this iconic show had to offer. Whether you were a wide-eyed kid or a young at heart grown up, there's no doubt that this show left an indelible mark on your heart. What were your favorite moments? Was it the whimsical characters, the imaginative plots, or the unforgettable music that made your heart sing? Maybe you had a favorite Disney character that stole the spotlight, or perhaps it was the pure magic of Disney that kept you coming back for more. I invite you to take a stroll down memory lane and share your cherished recollections of the magical world of Disney. Let's reminisce together about the joy, laughter, and enchantment it brought into our lives. And now, to add a sprinkle of fascination to our conversation, let me share some random facts about the show that you might find intriguing. So, get ready for a dose of Disney history. The Magical World of Disney, a peek behind the enchantment in 1954, the magical world of Disney took television audiences on a spellbinding journey into the enchanting realm of Walt Disney. While the show primarily showcased beloved Disney classics and captivating stories, it also occasionally peeled back the curtain to reveal the magic happening behind the scenes. One fascinating aspect of the magical world of Disney was its commitment to offering viewers a glimpse into the intricate art of animation. The show frequently delved into the secrets of Disney's animation techniques, showcasing the meticulous craftsmanship that brought beloved characters to life. Audiences were treated to an inside look at the painstaking process of hand-drawn animation, from the initial sketches to the final frame-by-frame -frame magic. Furthermore, the series didn't stop at animation. It extended its reach to the making of Disney films, offering fans a sneak peek into the production of their favorite movies. This behind-the-scenes approach allowed viewers to appreciate the dedication and creativity that went into crafting Disney's cinematic masterpieces. Additionally, the magical world of Disney didn't shy away from exploring the genesis of Disney theme park attractions. It provided insights into the imaginative minds that dreamt up iconic rides and attractions at Disneyland and beyond. This unique aspect of the show helped viewers connect even more deeply with the Disney experience, as they gained a deeper understanding of the ingenuity that went into creating the beloved parks. In essence, the magical world of Disney was not merely a showcase of Disney's captivating stories, but a journey into the heart of Disney's creative process. It peeled back the layers of enchantment, offering a richer, more profound appreciation of the magic woven into every Disney creation. In 1954, Walt Disney had a dream to build Disneyland, the world's first ever theme park. To turn this dream into reality, he needed money. That's when the new ABC television network stepped in with a deal. They would finance the construction of Disneyland in exchange for Walt Disney creating a TV series for them. This series was none other than the magical world of Disney. The agreement with ABC not only provided the funds to build Disneyland, but also gave the network a minority ownership in the park. This partnership was a pivotal moment in Disney's history. It enabled the birth of Disneyland, which would become an iconic destination for families worldwide. As part of the deal, Walt Disney created a television series that showcased the magic of Disney's storytelling. The show featured a variety of segments, including animated shorts and live-action adventures, all designed to entertain and captivate audiences. Some of these segments were even released as shorts in international markets, spreading Disney's enchanting tales to a global audience. One standout moment in the series' history was the special episode titled Dateline, Disneyland, which aired in 1955. This episode played a crucial role in introducing the world to Disneyland and building anticipation for its grand opening. It was a masterstroke of marketing that showcased the park's attractions, creating a buzz that would make Disneyland an instant success. Fast forward to the 1990s, and the fortunes had reversed. The Walt Disney Company, now a global entertainment powerhouse, acquired ABC, solidifying Disney's control over its own destiny. In summary, the magical world of Disney was not just a television series. It was a strategic move by Walt Disney to secure the funds needed to bring Disneyland to life. 
It introduced the world to the magic of Disney, both on screen and in the form of the iconic theme park. This partnership with ABC laid the foundation for the Disney empire we know today. We know today. In the 1954 TV series The Magical World of Disney, exotic animal trainer Ralph Helfer played a significant role by providing many of his animals for Disney movies and television episodes. Helfer's expertise in working with exotic animals added a unique and captivating dimension to the show's content. One notable episode of The Magical World of Disney aired in April 1967, titled A Salute to Alaska. Interestingly, this episode featured Walt Disney's last opening comments, even though it aired five months after his passing. This poignant moment in television history allowed viewers to hear Walt Disney's voice one last time leaving a lasting impression on fans and marking the end of an era. Additionally, the magical world of Disney had a humorous side. It was playfully spoofed in Mad Magazine as Walt Disney presents Disneyland. This spoof showcased the show's popularity and cultural significance, as Mad Magazine often parodied iconic figures in media. The magical world of Disney remains a beloved classic in the world of television, blending entertainment, education, and innovation, making it a cherished part of American television history. Vision history. Vision. The magical world of Disney, which premiered in 1954, held a unique place in television history. Initially, Disney's feature-length movies were either condensed into one-hour episodes or aired in multiple weekly installments, each lasting an hour. This format differed from how other movies were typically broadcast on television. It wasn't until the mid-1970s that Disney Studios finally aired one of their feature-length movies in a single evening, aligning with the standard practice for other films on network television. One of the show's standout features was its star-studded lineup of guest appearances. The magical world of Disney welcomed numerous celebrities from the world of entertainment, including actors, musicians, and other notable figures. These guest stars added a dose of star power to the series, making it a must-watch for viewers. Remarkably, the show went through five different titles during its run and appeared on all three major television networks of the time. As of 2005, it remained the longest-running weekly primetime network show in television history, surpassing even the esteemed Hallmark Hall of Fame. While the latter had a longer overall run, it had ceased being a weekly show more than four decades prior. In summary, the magical world of Disney carved a unique path in television history with its format of showcasing Disney's feature-length movies and its impressive array of guest stars. Its longevity and adaptability across different networks solidify its place in the annals of television history. 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 The evolution of Disney's TV magic from 1954 to 1960, a television series known as Disneyland graced the screens of American homes. This show, however, had a peculiar twist. Despite airing on ABC, which primarily broadcasted in black and white at the time, all of its episodes were filmed in color. ABC's lack of color broadcasting didn't deter Walt Disney from capturing his creations in all their vivid hues. The series featured a weekly rotation of four titles, Fantasyland, Frontierland, Adventureland, and Tomorrowland, each corresponding to the theme of that week's episode. Although viewers couldn't see these colors on their screens, Disney's commitment to quality was evident behind the scenes. In 1961, the show made a move to NBC, and with it came a change in title. The different subtitles were dropped, simplifying the series' name to Walt Disney's wonderful world of color. Interestingly, many of the ABC episodes that re-aired on NBC were finally shown in color, and this colorization remained, even when the episodes later aired on the Disney Channel, in theaters, and on home video. The series continued to evolve its name over the years, adapting to branding and technological advancements. It became known as Walt Disney Presence and eventually settled on the wonderful world of Disney. These changes reflected Disney's enduring ability to stay current and enchant audiences, even when the colors finally burst forth from black and white screens. So, despite the limitations of its time, Disneyland defied the black and white norm ushering in a magical era of television that we continue to cherish today. 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 As we bid adieu to this enchanting journey through the captivating realm of the magical world of Disney circa 1954, I invite you to take a moment to let the nostalgia wash over you. The iconic series that introduced us to a world of wonder, imagination, and dreams is a treasure trove of memories waiting to be revisited. 
Think back to those evenings when the family gathered around the television set, the anticipation of a new episode filling the room with excitement. The tales of whimsical adventures, beloved characters, and the unmistakable Disney magic have left an indelible mark on countless hearts. But this isn't just about reminiscing, it's about celebrating the personal connection you have with this timeless series. What were your favorite moments? Was it Mickey Mouse spreading his infectious joy, or perhaps the enchanting worlds created in Technicolor Splendor? Did it inspire you to dream bigger, believe in the impossible, or ignite your own creative spark? Now, it's your turn to share. Let us know your cherished memories, the lessons learned, or the dreams awakened by the magical world of Disney from 1954. Your stories and thoughts are like a window into a shared past, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us and for sharing in the magic of Disney. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. Until we meet again, keep the magic alive in your hearts and remember that dreams do come true. With warm regards.